in this video we are going to discuss about resonant peak in the last video we discussed about resonant frequency so that means where we will get maximum value of magnitude that frequency is nothing but resonant frequency so here that maximum value we are going to find out the maximum value of magnitude or peak value of magnitude is nothing but resonant peak so here it is the peak value of magnitude of the transfer function t of j omega in the first class of frequency domain specifications so we derived the equations for both magnitude and phase of the basic second order transfer function t of j omega so the magnitude is equal into 1 by root of 1 minus x square whole square plus 2 zeta x whole square where x is the ratio of frequencies omega by omega n whenever your frequency is resonant frequency then you will get resonant peak that means you will get maximum value of magnitude so here in the last video we calculated the equation for resonant frequency as omega r is equal to omega n root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so this is the equation for resonant frequency when we substituted this resonant frequency here then you are going to get the resonant peak which is indicated as mr so now here we can't substitute omega or omega n directly in terms of x you can substitute so that means so i am getting that x here omega r by omega n is equal to root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so omega r by omega n is nothing but x is equal to root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so from this x square is equal to 1 minus 2 zeta square from this same equation i can write the equation for 2 zeta square as 1 minus x square so these two relations i am going to substitute in this equation so then i am going to get my peak value at this resonant frequency so that's why when i am substituting resonant frequency definitely i will get peak magnitude peak magnitude is nothing but resonant peak so mr is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus x square whole square so 1 minus x square means 2 zeta square so in place of 1 minus x square i can substitute 2 zeta square so here 2 zeta square whole square in place of 1 minus x square i substituted 2 zeta square and here i'm having square and after that here in place of x so in place of x i can substitute root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so that means 2 zeta into root of 1 minus 2 zeta square whole square will give you resonant peak by evaluating this equation you are going to get the equation for resonant peak so by evaluating by evaluating by simplifying this expression so you are going to get 1 by 2 zeta 1 by 2 zeta 1 minus zeta square so this what you are going to get for resonant peak so this is for resonant peak so after calculating after simplifying this equation you are going to get the resonant peak equation this will be your final equation that you need to keep in your mind for solving problems in technical exams resonant peak is equal to 1 by 2 zeta root of 1 minus zeta square this will be your resonant peak whenever the frequency is equal to resonant frequency finally the resonant peak is nothing but maximum value of magnitude when we will get that maximum value for the magnitude means whenever we substituted resonant frequency in the magnitude then only you are going to get maximum or peak value for the magnitude which is nothing but resonant peak 